Chris and Charles McFadden are back. I love what y'all do with the place. I think it's awesome. Y'all tell everybody you know, when y'all leave to come see us, you know, or just come see those that don't come see any show over here, you know. Keep supporting real live music, you know. That's It's a darn hard form, I'm afraid, because you can fake everything these days. I mean, we are actually playing straight through amps, coming straight through microphones. There's no auto tune. I don't even have any pedals. And there's no guitar pedals, no effects pedals. Like, I'm telling y'all, when I go to get some guitar center, I don't even look at the cases with all that shit in it. I go straight to the drum section. You know, you know what's impressive? These two guys really enjoy playing with you. They, they really, I hope they really do enjoy. He says they really, these two guys really enjoy playing with me. I really enjoy playing with them too. And hopefully they can get paid at the end of the night. <laughs> Oh, first, put the tip jar on? first time for everything. Oh no, oh, no. that was their money. No, I'm just we don't do that. That's Bourbon Street. <laughs> we moved up. <laughs> That's right, I'm from Homer. Y'all know where Homer is, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Houston and Homer, there's only a few letters different. <laughs> They both start the same way, like when you start typing that shit in Google, Houston and Homer comes up right next to each other. And you get H-O-U, could be either one. You one click away from Homer. Damn, I'm gonna I'm make some t-shirts now. Selling at the Boys of the Wetlands Festival. By the way, y'all, every October, y'all come on down to see us in Homer. We, we put on a festival down there to save the coast of Louisiana. It's called the Boys of the Wetlands. And you're doing camping now, so since y'all live close enough to drive your camper down, or pull your trailer, or drive to Walmart and buy a tent, we can stay all night now. We can build a fire. Not in the tent, though. Preferably on the outside of your tent. <laughs> Don't worry about the woods. They so damn wet, you need diesel to catch them on fire. That's how it used to be when we, when we would go camping, because we spent a lot of time in the woods because my parents were trying to get rid of us. <laughs> we got four boys and they're all a year apart. Shit gets broken in the house. <laughs> and I'm the oldest, so whenever I was left to babysit, we were in the woods. Because if shit got broken in the house, I'm the one that got beat. I'm like, I didn't even touch that. <laughs> so I'm like, we can't break nothing in the woods but ourselves. And we did some of that. <laughs> we go in the woods and we go camping. It was very important to have a two liter Coke, some Tonys, and five gallons of diesel. Because you can't get a fire lit unless you got some diesel. The wood was very wet. You gotta soak it. I mean, it makes the, <laughs> it makes the rabbits taste a little funny when you cook them on the fire. It's okay. They don't have that wild taste anymore, I tell you that. <laughs> it does kill the wild taste. It replaces it with a slightly sweet diesel taste, but it does kill the wild flavor. <laughs> Just a little secret for y'all, a little trick, you know. Don't even worry about soaking it in milk and all of them other tricks. <laughs> Just cooking on the diesel fire. <laughs> it gets real hot too, so you gotta watch it. And the tire fire also works very good. <laughs> it's only if you like that char, the char on the outside with the drag racing smell. Because I really, you know, I used to love to go to drag races just for the smells. <laughs> <laughs> when they're cooking them robins on there, look out. Well, yeah. If a bird flies near my gun, it's, getting a, it's gonna be food. I don't care what season it is. Sometimes it's crane season, sometimes it's egret season. 
Fuck, we're living in the woods. Shit is available. <laughs> squirrels, hey. Get them groceries. Squirrels jump down out of the tree. Oh, we see them. Yep. Possum? We squirrels. Possum, everything. Oh, yeah. Everything is delicious. Except oh, neutral. Right? I ain't eating no neutral. <laughs> I mean, what? Supposedly, it tastes out of all of the ones we mentioned. But I just have a hard time eating a rat. I'm sorry. At least a squirrel's got a fluffy tail. <laughs> Be like a pack rat with a fluffy tail. All right, I'll eat it. Here we go. All right, here's a song. Now that I've grossed all of y'all out. <laughs> y'all gonna pass on the dessert? All right, cool. All right, this is uh. <laughs> All right, this is one of them songs on my paperwork. <laughs> it's none of those. That's one of these. It's in the key of E for everybody playing the home game. Open your songbooks to page 27. Oh, y'all didn't get one part. Next show. Thank uh you. -huh. 